In this video, I'm going to show you how you can crush a Town Hall 12 ring bases with a really awesome attack. And we're getting started right now. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Captain Nemo. Welcome to another strategy video. Today, we're hanging out in Jade Links and looking at a really awesome way that you can crush Town Hall 12 ring bases. That's right, Town Hall 12 ring bases that you normally see a lot of times in Clan War Leagues and other little different places. Today, we're going to look at a really creative way that you can really crush a Town Hall 12 ring base. This attack I've seen run many different times and today we're going to take a look at how to do it. Let's get started. So what is this wonderful awesome attack that I'm talking about? The one where you can destroy Town Hall 12 ring bases with? Well today that's what we're going to look at, right? So Frank the Tank up top, who by the way I've featured in another video, it was a family circle video with a very similar attack. I'll link that in the, uh, the link card above so you can look at that after this video if you like. So this is a ring base. I mean, ring bases are generally the same. You have the center mass, the town hall, with a bunch of really key defenses that everybody tries to protect. And the idea is a ring base usually makes the troops walk around, right? That's what they're trying to do. Now, how do you overcome this? Well, many different ways. We know that the ring base is actually a very weak situation normally. If you're running a ring base, you, you really don't want to put all of, your, all of your things in the middle of here. If you notice, he's got his town hall, he's got the eagle artillery, he's got all of the inferno in the center is it's not a good thing to do because basically if you take that out the rest of the base just falls and that's kind of the key to this attack so that's really what a ring base is what does frank the tank bring here to destroy this ring base well you see a variety of different troops in there there are a couple of there's some funneling troops obviously the main portion is the queen walk so that's five healers he brings 21 hogs and a bunch of bowlers with him as well there's going to be a stone slammer in there and then the rest are kind of like funneling wall breakers coco loons things like that to kind of get started as far as the spells go you got a heal a rage and uh he brings an earthquake with him that's for the center so heal a rage an earthquake and it could be used with the freeze as well but that's for the center for the the rest of the attack but then as far as the rages go one rage usually for the queen walk and that's kind of interesting like you normally whenever you start a queen walk you're going to use at least one rage on her to keep her alive especially if there's a lot of defenses in the area where he starts off so that's one you want to use the 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 rage on the queen and the second usually it really kind of depends it's situational what is he doing here? What do you need to do in order to run this attack? Now, if you're going to run hogs or bowlers, you want to make sure that you take out the clan castle. So that has got to be taken out. And that's one of the things he does here with his queen, because the queen walk is very versatile. It's one of the best ways to run any kind of attack, right? So in this case, he starts off in this direction over here because he's going to want to take out the enemy queen and he's going to want to take out the clan castle before he runs the attack. And the other idea to this attack is to basically clear out a funnel. You want to clear out enough of the base to send everything into the center. And by everything, I mean his main kill squad. And that's going to be his hogs, his bowlers, and his stone slammer. So hogs, bowlers, stone slammer, and a grand warden that goes into the center. And his king with like the Pekka, a couple of bowlers, and then basically his queen walk does the rest of the attack. It's a really interesting attack. It's a good way of going. You don't really need to funnel. You need to start your queen, watch her, see which way she goes, and send the, you know, send your uh, your king with the rest of the funneling troops in, in, into the base to make sure that you start cleaning it up wait until you have a clear path into the center and that's what you're going to send your hogs your stone slammer and of course your grand warden behind so let's take a look and see what he does over here now one thing is very important he definitely saves one of his earthquakes one of his rages and one of his heals for the center so Two loons right here on top of my head. If you notice, one loon and a baby dragon. And then he's going to bring another loon and a baby dragon. Let me zoom in here so you can see. And move myself out of the way. Those loons right there that he sent in here, those were to make sure that he pulls any kind of bombs or air seeking mines for the baby dragon as well as these healers right over here. Notice he pulled the CC with one of the hogs, right? 
He pulled the CC because he needed to get that out. Rage the queen and poisoned the CC to make sure that he takes and checks off that one thing that he needed to do to keep his hogs alive. Afterwards, he's gonna take out one of the expos. That's a pure bonus. He doesn't really need to do that. And he's gonna take out the queen, which he does need to do. He still rages the queen on this side. Very important. He sends in a packer to start the funnel right here down by six. A whole bunch of wall breakers with the king because he's gonna be going into the base. Notice, what is he doing? Sends the bowlers behind the king and the P.E.K.K.A. That's the best way to funnel, right? And then sends everything in. His healers and everything is behind, meets the rest of the army. He's gonna send a rage and send everything right into the base. That is very, very, very effective way to go. Now notice what happened to the rest of the base. Now the attack is gonna go. He's over here cleaning up, doing stuff. Center straight away into the center. He's gonna send a stone slammer. He's gonna send the hugs and the grand warden behind right into the center now let me pause this for a second so what has happened here notice he started his queen walk right over here right he did a little funnel to make sure that the queen walks this way now if you didn't walk this way if that happens to you and, and instead does she start going you know e uh, north right towards 12 that's fine. You just basically rear out and start your attack this way to do the exact same thing, right? It's a ring base. That's what's good about attacking a ring base. It really doesn't matter what way you go in. Now, I know there's a queen and everything this way, so that's very important as well. But really, if it redirects, you can really just turn it around and go the other way. But he ran the baby dragon right on top to make sure that it goes. he goes south. That's what he needed to do. And that's what he did. He went south, he moved the queen with a queen walk down south. He raged her a couple of times to make sure that he takes out the enemy queen, to make sure that he takes out the clan castle, checks those two off, good to go. The queen starts walking and she keeps walking. He started the P.E.K.K.A. as well as the B.K., his barbarian king on this side, with the wall breakers to break into this area. Why did he do that? He did that to make sure that he cleaned this area out because he's gonna be sending the hogs in with a stone slammer and he wants to go into the center of the base, right? So he cleaned this all out, got it ready for the hogs he sent in his barbarian king and everything this way he raged over here he sent everything down down field over here notice again same thing he's cleaned up enough of the base to make sure that he sends in his stone slammer with the hogs behind and they all go into the center once he did that, once he realized this is all cleaned up and ready to go, he sent, like, as you notice, he sent in his hogs this way. He sent the stone slammer, then he sent in all the hogs, and then he sent the grand warden. Once they got to right about into the center of the base, he healed right away because he realized as soon as you get there, you got the multi infernos, you got the town hall, you got a lot of stuff. It's crazy. You're going to want to make sure that you heal. Right, so he heals in there, he rages in there, he slams the earthquake to wake up the town hall, and then he pops the Grand Warden ability. Right about now, as you notice, he will. Now everything else is right here in the center of the base. Everything is cooking. It's raged, it's healed, it's in there. He's about to pop the Grand Warden and push through the base. At the same time, his king and queen are still walking down the other way. So he's kind of really, all that's left right here is this V shape of the base and the center. Let's take a look and see how this goes right over here. I'm gonna zoom in so we can get a little better view right here. He's got everything in the base, let's go. He pops the Grand Warden to make sure that he saves all of his hogs from the giant bomb. He does that, the hogs are good. The, the, look at, I mean, the stone slammer is still good. He's now as far as the rage goes. Honestly, you can use it on town hall, dependent situational. But he uses it on the on the free spell right here on the wizard tower. That's a good way to go as well. His stone slammer is full of loons. That's interesting. You could go really any way you want. It doesn't really matter. I think it's situational either way. But I would go with the loons definitely. So the loons died out. He's still got some of the hogs left. His heroes are still alive and moving. Right, he's got the heal the healers behind, which are kind of going back and forth, as you notice, and trying to take out and heal whoever they can. So it's gonna be the the queen, it's gonna be the grand warden, it's gonna be whatever, and he's moving through the base, right? I mean, it's pretty strong. A lot of things didn't go his way. Oh, right here, when he got to the center over here, um, the wizard towers definitely cooked the rest of his loons that came out of the stone slammer, and the rest of the hogs as well. He got a little bit unfortunate. I mean, he's still gonna get it. It doesn't really matter, but this is a super strong attack and it really kills bases. And the key to it is you want to make sure that you funnel. 
right? You start your queen, you let her walk, you do the funneling, she cleans up and straightens out the base to get you like in the center. That's the key here. You, as soon as that happens, you send in the, the king on the other side to make sure you send the queen in, right? The king, the packer, all that, with the bowlers, you raise them in, you wait for them to finish and get cleaning of the base up. As soon as you have a clear, you know, straight shot into the town hall, a good way to go, by the way, one of the pro tips is to send in one hog at first to make sure that, it, that you actually have a nice clear path in there. To make sure that it does target the town hall versus some other defense, because if you just drop all your hogs and it's not targeting the town hall and target some other defense, you're not going to be in a good situation. You want to make sure you target the town hall or the center. So you send one hog in as a test, then the rest of the hogs, the stone slammer, everything else, and then you do your, your heal, your rage. You do, you know, you pop the earthquake to make sure you work out a town hall, and then you can use the freeze if you want or not. You want to make sure that you use the Grand Warden ability right on the pop when the town hall explodes, so you save all of your hogs. Otherwise, they're all gonna die. It's still gonna end up being a two star, which is okay, I guess. But to get a three, you gotta save your hogs. Then you get into the base, nice and easy, just like Frank the Tank showed us, and you crush it. And that's what we want to do right here with this attack. I love it. Really nice job, Frank the Tank. Really nice work. We just watched a really awesome way you can just totally crush Town Hall 12 with ring bases. This is a really sweet attack performed by Frank the Tank. Over here in Jade Links, big, big props to them for having me here and showing you this awesome attack. So like I said, there's many different ways you can crush Town Hall 12 ring bases or ring bases in general, but this is a very good one. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button. If you haven't subscribed already, ladies and gentlemen, I have so many more things coming for you. We have Clash of Clans, how to, we, we have how to, how to clash series is we have farming we have trophy pushing we have war attacks we have base building we have so much more i'm super excited oh my god you should definitely be subscribed and stay tuned for all of this awesome content coming your way if you have some time i definitely think you should check out this video right here this is on town hall 12 war strategies that you can be using in your next war to just destroy bases and be one of the best attackers in your clan if you want to see this, I will see you right there. Thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.